How's it going guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today we're back with another episode of Zero to Hero. Welcome back to the series and in the last episode we played one game against some Kedah in the FA Cup final and it was a 3-1 win. What a great win and then we successfully defended the um, um FA Cup champions right there. So yes, what a good win 3-1 and then I then proceed to play all the game in the Super League and then of course we have already won the um league title. So yes, we have crowned as a champions at the um in the, um, I don't know how many years, man. It's actually 10 consecutive years. Yes, so I'm very, very proud of my boys. Yes, we got um 64 points out of 22 games. And look at that record. Wow, 21 wins and one draw in the league itself. So yeah, the league is not a problem. And then, as you guys know, in this series, we are just going to focus in the Champions League. So today, we are just going to play this game against Western Sydney Wanderers. And then, this is the second leg. And then, you know what? In the first leg, we actually won 2-0. And then, um, I have to be honest, this is actually quite a, quite a comfortable win. You know, like previously, we had a game against like Guangzhou. Yes, this was a tough one. We won 1-0. However, the first leg, we actually drew 1-1. And then, in the um, previous season, we have the game against um, Suwon as well. A 0-0 draw. And then we then um lost 3-0 against some um, Suwon. However, this game against some um, Sydney Wanderers is actually really, really easy, man. I um there's no disre disrespect, but this game I just felt that um I have the confidence to just go and win it. So today we are just going to come back in this Champions League quarter final second leg. And then if we qualify to the semi-final, pretty much we achieve what we wanted in this um in this series. Because in this series, what we wanted to do is within five seasons, we have to win three league titles. And then this is our fourth season. And in fact, we actually win um, all four league titles um, throughout um, the series. And then our main objective in the Champions League, it is actually just reach the semi-final. Yes, we are not going to um, set a target that we are going to win that um, trophy because um, yeah, Asian Champions League is so, 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 so hard for a Malaysia team to actually win it. So to achieve that semi-final, it's actually already good enough. So if we win this game, we officially, we officially successfully achieve our target. So I'm just going to go all out in this game, you know, like um the first leg 2 new win, it was good. However, today we are just going to travel all the way to Australia to play this game. So yeah. If we can win this, we'll just proceed to semi-final. Of course, I will still play the game, um, the semi-final game in front of the camera. And then, um, whether we win it or we um, lose it, anyhow, we have already achieved our target right there. So I'm really, really excited with this game. And then let me just show you guys a little bit, a little bit of the transfer because the transfer window has just ended. And then we brought um, a new player by the name of Aleo Aleo Guerra, um, I believe that's how you pronounce his name as an Argentine. Um, Argentine. Um, Alejo Guerra, I think, yes. He is just going to play as a defensive midfielder. And um, unfortunately, our captain, where is it? Where are you? Zazinho. Yes, Zazinho is actually injured and out for um, quite a long time. So that's why I actually unregistered him from the a um, AFC Champions League. So I actually bring on this Alejo um, Guer Guerra, not Guerra, Guerra. To actually play as the um defensive midfielder. So I've changed a little bit all my tactics and this will be the starting 11 that we are going to play against Sydney um, Wanderers today. So um Hernandez will be as a striker and then our right wing position, you know, our main man Safawi Rasid actually, he picked up an injury. Let me just um look at it. He picked up an injury and then he is out. See that expected return six to nine months. Yes, it is a huge blow for us. So I am just going to play 
Rico Nigel Edwin as the um, right winger right here. Yes, we have been retraining him as a right winger for such a long time. So yeah, I'm very confident that he can play at the right side. And Rizwan Cardio will be on the left wing. And then if needed, Rizwan Cardio can always play as the um, right winger. And then uh, Abdul Ra Rashid can step in as left winger. And our midfield trio today will be Guerra, Kalati, as well as Krasniki. Yes, this Australian Joe Kalati actually is going to step in and play as the box-to-box -box midfielder. And then, yeah, his attributes is actually not looking that bad. And our back four will be Mazulo, Fazil, Nixo, Mohamed Aris. Yes, I actually decided to drop... Um, Who, who are you? Yeah, this one. Sancha Grandes. Yes, I know Sancha Grandes is amazing, but he is actually not um, going to um, extend his contract with us. So that's why I have to let him go. Um, with a free transfer next season. So, Mohamed Aris will be stepping as the left back. And then, Shahi Shwaran, of course, will be the goalkeeper in this game. So, yeah, without, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the game. Alright, welcome back to the game. And now, we are on the pitch. And in JDT, we are wearing our white kit. And then, Western Sydney Wanderers will be wearing their black kit in on the pitch so yes black and white and then here we go this is the first 30 seconds and we are playing it at their home turf today i can't really remember what the um stadium stadium name it is however yes i'm very very looking forward to this game all right so here we go 10 minutes in there's nothing major in the um in this game so far and then we are actually playing on an extended highlight yes why not so here we go that's a free kick for us and Nixo crossed in well, however, the ball did not reach anyone and then the highlight just ended right there. But we did get an um, attacking opportunity, but then we did not take the chance well. So here we go, Russell to come out and then Russell cross it into the middle, but Guerra managed to hit it out and which is a very, very good clearance in my opinion. So Knight to Mahazi, Mahazi pass it back to Kofana, to Ryan and to Knight again, Chapners. And Chamners, and what a good save from Shahish Waran, just parried the ball out. And here's a corner for Western Sydney Wanderers. And Russell swings it into the middle, and another brilliant clearance by um, Guerra. However, um, I'm not sure who picked up the, um, not picked up the injury. I was going to say, um, fouled the um, op opposition player. I believe it was um, Kadir. Yeah, I can't, I can't really remember. However, we just gave away a foul. But Sydney Wanderers um, looks like they did not take the chance to actually um, convert the free kick into a goal right there. So yeah, Nixo to Edwin, to Nixo again, and Nixo just running down the wing and then, but then um, that, that was a poor pass, that was a poor pass. But what a good block from Kransniki, and then Nixo to Guerra, to Kaleti, Joe Kaleti, Kransniki, and what a good ball forward finding Hernandez. Oh, that was a good one. But we did not convert the chance well as well. Well, three shots, zero on target. That was quite poor. However, today we are in, um, we are actually playing away. So, um, I'm actually quite happy with that. I mean, um, I want to encourage the boys, but we can't. And here we go into the halftime with a two nil lead. Um, on aggregate, so I'm just going to trash arm and say I'm far from pleased. Yes, you guys are not actually doing well, but I'm so far happy with the performance. But you know, team meeting, we are just going to be harsh a little bit to motivate the boys, you know. That's what um I will always do. So here we go. That's a uh, throw-in for us. Krasniki, Kaleti to Guerra, Mazolo to Nixo. Nixo, what a good ball finding. Nirico up! <laughs> Rico Nigel Edwin and then cross it into the middle but Hernandez headed the ball just straight to the goalkeeper. Alright, so maybe we are just going to sub off um, Hernandez because 6.4 not looking good and Carletti is actually running out of stamina so we might actually sub him off. Okay, let's just um bring on Azizi Ilam. Kadir, you will be playing at the right hand side and then left hand side I'm just going to bring on um actually... Kalete will be off. I'm just going to bring on Abdul Rashid to play as the left winger. And then in the midfield trio, I'm just going to push. Um, Nigel Edwin, you will be the Mazala on support. Yes, that's what I want you to do. I want you to be Mazala. And then Kransniki can play as the box-to-box -box midfielder because he is capable of doing that. Um, and then Joe Kalati, because um, he's just running out of stamina, I just don't want to rush 
don't want to risk him because um, I am pretty confident that we can qualify into the next round of the Champions League. So I want him in the next Champions League game. Let us just encourage our boys a little bit. It was a nil-nil game. It is actually quite boring to be fair, but I am happy with that. I am really happy with that. I mean, Nico, right, uh, Nigel Edwin is not doing well. And then even Ridzon Kader, it's only a 6.2 and a hole. What a good block from Nixo and then Champress can't actually get the ball right there. Okay, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Let's just hold the lead. A nil-nil draw will be really, really boring. However, it is good for the result, but it will be... Oh, Abdul Rashid, what a good chance, but did not convert it. Let me just bring on Raja Amin as well. And then let me just switch the tactics a little bit. So... Kranz Nikki, you can play as the um, deep lying playmaker on support. And Raja Amin, you will be playing as a ball winning midfielder on defense. Let's go a little bit defensive. As I see the tactics, they are actually tr um, changing it to um, three strikers. Yes. I, I don't know whether you can see it or not. However, this will be the last highlight, I believe. And then let's blow the whistle. Come on, ref. Just blow the whistle. And then we are through to the next round. A 2 0. Win on aggregate, but yeah, I am just sorry because this um video is gonna be so so boring. It was a new new draw, it was so so boring, such a boring game. However, we managed to squeeze through um due to the first leg, um the um two new victory in the first leg. So I am just gonna say I'm not happy with your performance out there. Yes, everyone seems motivated, that's what I want to see. And then let's continue, and then let's just click continue again. So in the next round of the Champions League, we are playing against John Book Hyundai Motors. Yes, the Korean team. And then, wow, look at them. They were the champions for five consecutive seasons. And then the next season becomes second. And then last season was the first. But right now, they are actually sitting third in the K League. Okay, 56 points. Wow, this is going to be tricky, man. Yes, we played Suwon last season. We lost it 3 0. And then today we are, um, next round we are just going to play against John Book. Um, I'm not sure whether I pronounce it right or wrong. Okay, John Book. Yes, we are coming for you. And you know what? We have successfully achieved our target because we are now qualified to the Champions League semi-final. I am really, really happy and I am delighted. So yes, this is officially um probably let me know in the comment section below should this be the last season of us with jdt if not let's just um try our very very best to win the champions league in this season we will see what we can do and then i'm just going to end this episode right here so if you enjoy watching the content make, make sure you hit the subscribe button leave a like leave a comment share to your friends also don't forget to follow me on twitter it's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football so yeah that's all from me today and i will see you guys in the next episode Bye-bye.